So here we are next to this really quite amazing 300 kilogram turbinara coral, which was first collected over 120 years ago in Shark Bay in Western Australia. When it was alive, it would have been host to a whole range of species of invertebrates and fish. And what is really interesting is that when you look at a coral reef, up to a third of all species of fish swimming around are either a sequential or a simultaneous hermaphrodite. This means individual bodies that are producing both the large and the small gametes. Now, a simultaneous hermaphrodite is an individual which produces both the large and small at the same time within their own bodies, while a sequential is one, as you might have guessed by now, um, produces them one after the other. So, for example, there is a type of fish called the hamlet, which is a simultaneous hermaphrodite. So when they mate, one individual will produce the sperm and another individual will produce the eggs. But after a few minutes, they will swap. So the individual that was producing the sperm will now be producing the eggs, and the individual that was producing the eggs will now be producing the sperm. There is another species of fish called the blunt-headed ras, which is a sequential hermaphrodite, as females will change sex into males and compete with those individuals that started off life as males. What is interesting here is that whether or not females change to become male depends entirely on the environment and the situation in which they find themselves in, which goes to show that these um, abilities to change your sex and to change their own body is, is environmentally determined rather than something that is genetically determined. Finally, there's a third species I'd like to talk about, which is the Okinawa goby. Now, this fish starts off life as unsexed juveniles. They'll drift down and land on a piece of coral. They'll form monogamous pairs with one individual becoming the male and one individual becoming the female. But then sometimes, at some point in their life, they all swap sexes. So obviously the male becomes the female and the female becomes the male. What's even more extraordinary is that in some of these pairs, they will then go on to swap sexes again for what will become the third time in their lives. Now it's not just fish in coral reefs that are hermaphroditic, as many of the marine invertebrates that also live in and amongst the corals also behave this way, which just goes to show how common this is under the waves. So life histories like this question our own notion of binary sex and how other animals organize their bodies in the natural world. Next up, we're off to the insect case to talk about some queer beetles. Unless, of course, you want to nip behind the scenes and visit one of our curators who will tell you a bit more about the only species of vertebrate that is known to self-fertilize. <laughs>